several years ago, and I, I'm not sure I lose track of time, but I want to say three or four years ago, my little sister invited my wife and I to come up to Mountain View, Arkansas with uh, her and her husband for a weekend of relaxing and playing music. If you're familiar with Mountain View, Arkansas, it, it's popular throughout the, the world. It's a tiny little lazy country little town in the mountains of northern Arkansas. But it's uh, every weekend, and I think even in the summer or in the spring, they have a huge music festival there where tens of thousands of people come. But every weekend, there's people just all over the square playing music, having a great time. So uh, we jumped at the opportunity to, to go and we got there on a Friday, uh, checked into our bed and breakfast, uh, walked the square, listened to some great music. And then the next morning, we had a very fantastic breakfast at this bed and breakfast that we were staying. And, and the bed and breakfast is right, literally catty corner to the square. I mean, you could throw a rock and hit these two or three blocks that that I'm talking to you about, the square. Well, anyway, after we, we ate, we were sitting out on the, uh, the porch, this gigantic porch at this bed and breakfast. So Sis and I decided we'd play some music. Uh, she is a great dulcimer player. So we wanted to look any opportunity that I have to play music with my little sister. I jump at it. So anyway, we played, played a few tunes and uh, I said, hey, uh, sis, I said, let me play one of my all time favorite songs by my favorite singer songwriter ever. She says, well, who is that, Bobby? She calls me Bobby. And I said, uh, I said, well, it's John Prine. And she said, who? I said, John Prine. She said, well, I don't know who John Prine is. Well, shame on me for not turning her on to John Prine music. We're 10 years apart, uh, age-wise, and uh, maybe that's one of the reasons. And, and I live in Mississippi, she lives up in Arkansas. But, but anyway, I said I wanna play my favorite song that he's ever done. I said it's called Hello In There. And Sis is a, a great dulcimer player, like I said, so it was no problem for her to uh, play along with me. I did the song, and she says, Wow, what a great song that is. She said, the, the lyrics are fantastic. I said, well, the lyrics are fantastic on all of his tunes. I said, my, my goal one day would be to, to meet John Prime. She said, well, Bobby, maybe one day you can. So anyway, we, I don't know if we played some more songs. I don't think we did. I think we pretty much, uh, I, as a matter of fact, I, I remember my wife said, let's go to the square and look at all the shops. So we put our music, our, our instruments away and uh, started walking the square. And it's just a bunch of quaint little shops. The, the buildings are, I'm sure, well over 100 years old. Uh, the little old town's been there forever. But anyway, uh, we're walking and we come up to a shop that is, uh, best of my knowledge, they, they made and sold custom made cedar furniture. And uh, I just stopped dead in my tracks. And I remember my sister saying, Bobby, what's wrong? And I said, uh, I said, nothing is wrong. But I said, do you remember the song 15 minutes ago I sang to you and told you about my favorite songwriter? She said, yeah. And I said, well, there he is. She said, what? And I said, he's in that little store. Well, lo and behold, it was John Prine in this little furniture store. Of course, I was just, <laughs> I was beside myself. I couldn't believe it. 
and I couldn't believe the fact that I had just sang the song and just told Sis about John Prime. I said, look, I said, I have got to go in there. I've got to bother him. And I didn't want to bother him, but he was by himself. And I went in and I said, John, my name is Robert. I said, first of all, I'm a huge fan. I know all of your songs by heart. I said, can I share a story with you that I just, that just happened 15 minutes ago? You know, he said, yeah. And I told him what had just happened at the bed and breakfast. And he got a chuckle out of it, you could tell. He said, that's, and I can't remember if he said that's amazing or that's cool or, or whatever, but I just remember this gigantic grin on his face. I said, look, I said, would you mind too awfully much for someone to take a photo of you and I together? He said, of course. So anyway, right behind me here is the picture that my sister took of John Prine and I. Look, I cherish that. You don't know how much I cherish this photo, but I, I asked him, I said, I said, what are you doing here in Mountain View, Arkansas? And if I understood him right, uh, he told me that his brother lived in the area and that he, that John was down doing some trout fishing. Northern Arkansas is famous for unbelievable trout fishing. So, I'm thinking, well, how cool. He came down here. I tell my story to my sister. He and I meet. And, you know, it was like he was so cordial, so courteous. It was like he had known me for years. That's that's how he, he treated me. And from people that I know that know him and have met him, uh, they all say the same thing. Uh, I will tell you this, there's not a day that passes, and I mean this with all my heart, uh, that I don't come over here to my little studio and play some of John's songs. So anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed the story. Uh, something I will always remember. And I'll always remember John. As John says, I remember everything. <laughs>